On its way toward the sun, Comet 3I slash Atlas has done something no interstellar visitor ever has. A blast of nickel and cyanide captured by the Keck telescope has left astronomers sunned. Nickel, without any sign of iron, appearing alongside cyanide in a vivid anti-tail. This isn't just rare, it defies everything we thought we understood about comet chemistry. If these Keck observations hold, the very process creating these metals echoes conditions seen in advanced industrial refining on Earth. What could drive such unnatural chemistry in deep space? Are we witnessing a new kind of natural phenomenon or something even stranger? The real stakes behind 3i slash Atlas, Atlas's mystery could change what we believe about the building blocks of other worlds. To capture the chemical fingerprint of 3i slash Atlas, astronomers turned to the Keck Cosmic Web Imager, KCWI, an instrument designed for precision in the faintest reaches of the optical spectrum. KCWI slices the light from the comet into hundreds of spectra at once, building a three-dimensional map of both space and wavelength. In early September 2025, with 3i Atlas hovering near 18th magnitude, the team pushed the instrument to its limits. They targeted the ultraviolet, focusing on a narrow emission line at 3,414 angstroms, the signature of neutral nickel. Calibration was critical. Arc lamp exposures and standard stars anchored the wavelength scale, while custom algorithms separated the comet's glow from the background sky. The result? A clear nickel line, standing alone, with no detectable iron companion. This isolation, nickel without iron, sets three I slash Atlas apart from every comet yet observed, demanding a closer look at its chemistry and origin. Cyanide, identified by its distinct band near 388 nanometers, spreads outward from the nucleus in a plume that's anything but symmetrical. The strongest emission maps to a region offset from the comet's core, revealing a jet-like release that defies the tidy spherical comae of most solar system comets. Keck's spatial mapping shows this cyanide cloud stretching tens of thousands of kilometers, its intensity peaking well away from the geometric center. Overlaying the gas map, a dust structure emerges, an anti-tail projecting sharply toward the sun. This feature, rare but unmistakable, forms as dust grains scatter forward along the comet's path, shaped by radiation pressure and the comet's own motion. Careful calibration rules out artifact. Repeated exposures, alternative position angles, and cross-checks with standard stars confirm the cyanide and anti-tail as real, not instrumental ghosts. The spatial puzzle deepens, inviting new questions about what drives such lopsided outgassing far from home. Measured along the cyanide plume, the spatial offset is not a minor detail. It defines the chemical puzzle at the heart of 3i slash Atlas. Nickel and cyanide are both present, but the ratio between them is startling, nearly 10 times higher than what is measured in any solar system comet. In standard comets, nickel and cyanide emissions rise and fall together, tracing the same broad, diffuse coma. Here, the nickel stands out, both in intensity and in its lack of iron. The strongest cyanide emission, mapped tens of thousands of kilometers from the nucleus, lines up with a directional jet, not a uniform shell. That means the outgassing is lopsided, as if a single patch or fracture is venting material rich in metals and volatiles. The numbers do not fit any familiar template. This extreme nickel to cyanide excess, coupled with asymmetric release, signals that something fundamentally different is driving the chemistry of this interstellar visitor. Avi Loeb, known for pushing the boundaries of cosmic detective work, points to a process that, until now, belonged mostly to the world of metallurgy. On Earth, the MOND process uses carbon monoxide to extract nickel from ore, leaving iron behind. In the vacuum of space, with carbon monoxide ice abundant and sunlight providing just enough energy, a similar reaction could unfold naturally. 
nickel tetracarbonyl NiCO4, forms at relatively low temperatures, vaporizes easily, and breaks apart under ultraviolet light, releasing pure nickel atoms into the coma. Iron, by contrast, requires higher temperatures and more pressure to form its own carbonyl, making its absence in the gas phase plausible. Loeb calls this a testable hypothesis. If the carbonyl pathway is at work, future spectra should reveal nickel emissions ramping up at distances where iron remains locked in the nucleus. This mechanism, if confirmed, would broaden the way scientists classify interstellar materials, hinting at a chemistry shaped by environments far beyond our own. Three interstellar visitors, three distinct chemistries, Oumuamua, discovered in 2017, swept past without a trace of gas. Rocky, dry, and silent. Its strange acceleration still unsolved. Two years later, Borisov arrived, a classic comet by every measure. Icy, carbon-rich, its tail in coma echoing the familiar recipe of our own solar system. Now three. I slash Atlas upends that pattern. Its coma glows green from carbon dioxide, while nickel and cyanide dominate the spectrum. Nickel in quantities unmatched, iron conspicuously absent. The spectrum of possibilities grows wider with each arrival, hinting that planetary systems across the galaxy forge small bodies in ways we're only beginning to imagine. Late October 2025 brings the perihelion of 3i slash Atlas, a narrow window when sunlight and distance align for the best possible data. Observatories worldwide, from Keck to JWST, have scheduled coordinated campaigns to capture every spectral nuance. If the nickel and cyanide signatures change as the comet swings past the sun, those measurements could redefine what counts as a comet and what counts as interstellar chemistry. In 2025, the Keck telescope detected atomic nickel and cyanide in the coma of 3 bohrine slash atlas with no sign of iron, an emission pattern never before seen in any comet. The nickel to cyanide ratio measured is nearly 10 times higher than values observed in solar system comets, as documented in ARCSIV 2510.11779. This anomaly, combined with a sunward anti-tail and asymmetric gas plume, poses a direct challenge to established models of comet chemistry. The carbonyl pathway offers a testable explanation, but key details, including how such specific reactions arise in space, remain unresolved. As 3i slash Atlas approaches perihelion in late October 2025, coordinated campaigns may confirm or overturn current theories. For now, the evidence leaves an open question. What processes shaped this interstellar visitor? 3. I slash Atlas reminds us that each new arrival from beyond our solar system brings data that can redefine what we know about the origins and diversity of cosmic materials.